With Season 21, we got some super changes, mainly buffs, and we're talking about the Warlock ones today. And the first clip, I'm on a Strand Warlock that did not get a buff. However, my buddy is on a Cataclysm Nova Bomb, and my other buddy is on a Thunder Torrent Thunder Crash Titan. And as you can see by the comparison, the Needle Storm still does more damage than the Cataclysm, but what about the Vortex? Well, I swapped to the Vortex, and my buddy swapped to the Needle Storm, and I tried to, you know, make sure that the boss actually stayed in the range of the Vortex after I threw the Nova Bomb, and as you can see, needle storm still beats it out bro unfortunately nova bomb is just not hidden like that now in this clip we got the buffed chaos reach with geo max stabilizers and my buddy is on a dawn chorus daybreak warlock which is pretty cool you don't see people using daybreak in pve now do you but for the sake of testing purposes we decided to go ahead and just try it out and without thunder retort our chaos reach is going to put in a good amount of work it did get a pretty sizable buff a 25 percent damage buff and then it jolts single targets on sustained damage which is really useful and just with the geo mags the chaos reach was able to put out a good amount of damage and in this clip we do have thunderous retort on and you're gonna see thunderous retort really does help juice the chaos reach really makes it feel like an actual kamehameha wave that you're shooting from the palm of your hand like it should now damn it and with the help of thunderous retort we are able to crack over 750k with just the super which is pretty damn good at bare minimum respectable unlike the gathering storm where thunderous retort only buffs the initial throw of the arch staff chaos reach gets buffed for its entire duration meaning it is heavily benefited by this mod and i believe thunderous retort is somewhere in like a 30 to 40 percent buff which is really insane so chaos reach is definitely gonna cook this season arc in general as a whole is gonna cook this season but i want to give a shout out to the chaos reach because i've literally always wanted to like using this super and here we are now something else that you guys have got to be aware of is that the last wish weapons are cracked and if you can get five other people or even four really you can just you just gotta form cali the first encounter easy you just get somebody with an anarchy to trap her so she doesn't move and you just Baker, the Apex Predator and the Supremacy are amazing, for example. And since the Cali checkpoint takes a really long time for it to actually progress after you kill Cali, you can quite literally leave after you get your loot, reload right back into the checkpoint, and you'll be right back at Cali because it takes a while for the game to actually recognize that you beat Cali because she has to go through in the little portal, come back as her normal self, do some more dialogue, and then the game will recognize that you have progressed. However, if you do it quick enough, you can literally just save so much time by not having to worry about anybody leaving and rejoining with a checkpoint or anything like that. It's bake the boss, get the loot, load straight back in, bake the boss again, get the loot, load straight back, and you're just rinse and repeating. You're doing multiple runs in two minutes. It's insane. Last Wish is always farmable at the very start of every season. There's never been a better time to be in this encounter and i'm going to keep letting you guys know about it until this week is over with thank you so much for watching today's video consider using the subscribe button as a form of cover you guys take care be safe and we'll see you on the next one